The International Atomic Energy Agency is capitulating to Iran. That's the message from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who accused the UN international watchdog with becoming politicized and irrelevant as a buffer to prevent Iranian military nuclearization. Netanyahu's comments were in response to an IAEA report claiming that Iran had given a satisfactory answer to explain one of three sites at which uranium particles had been detected. The Egyptian border terrorist likely acted alone, motivated by religious extremism. That's the current wisdom in the ongoing investigation into the killing of three soldiers yesterday that included an attack on a border post and subsequent shootout with soldiers. The Egyptian policeman was found in possession of a firearm, six magazines of ammunition, a knife, and a Koran. He apparently used a knife to cut zip ties at the border barrier. It was determined that the terrorist fired first when confronted by three soldiers sent to track the gunman spotted by a surveillance drone. The first shot killed Staff Sergeant Ohad Dahan. Egypt is fully cooperating in the ongoing investigation. Tel Aviv is ready to rock tonight with the return of Guns N' Roses. Led by singer Axl Rose and guitarist Slash, the veteran rock group have many fans in the country and Parker Yarkone will have a sellout crowd. They were here in 1993, 2012 and 2017. Tel Aviv is a stop in the world tour that began on Thursday in Abu Dhabi. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that RTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.